Alrighty, I want to give a little lowdown of all these elements I've been working with for actually a few years now. So we know about the hot water one. It burns out in the sand. But it works great with the water. And everybody knows that. But you can take this and hook it directly to a solar panel. No batteries, no anything. You can hook it up to a 12 volt solar panel, one of these, and even 100 watts. It might take all day, but it'll heat up. I used to take a shower, so I'm working down the line here. I lost my battery pack in uh, 2008, 2010 when the economy crashed onto my large solar system. And that's when I started experimenting. So we've established that this doesn't work. These do work. I just put too much power to it. So I know these will work fine. We just got to watch the power. This is something I did a few years back. I never, I didn't finish the project. What I was trying to do was make a little oven from a toaster element. So this works directly off a solar panel also. No batteries, no inverter, no charge controllers. Of course, we know what we got here. This is the new coil that is working great. Now we've established, I've established that 850 watts at 120 volts DC so far hasn't burnt this up so we've got that parameter it's rough but we got that this one i'll have to work out that's another one of these here the 110 120 volt 110 volt whatever and it was rated at 1100 watts so this wattage with the dc i'm you know i don't know how it works exactly it seems to be hotter i don't know if that's possible but this is another one i'm going to show that in a different video this one's rated at 850 watts these i took out of a little oven now these are nice i'm thinking i'm going to make another oven up top these are the same type of material with that nickel chromium i believe it is now here i had this hot water heater running directly on solar panels for over a year, it finally started leaking. I took it out of my house. It burned up the switch because it's an AC switch. And I, I believe you can get these in DC also. So you can convert these to run directly off of solar panels. Uh, another gentleman had a list of the uh, where you can get these switches. And I'll, I'll see if I can find that if anybody's interested in something like that. But it worked great. I, I, I just hooked right up to these connections here it's all you need positive and negative heats right up it's the same as this it's, it's one of these it's just uh, wired up a little different got a different connection there same exact thing might be a little bit less wattage so that was unique i ran that fine uh, into my shower plumbed it right into the house <laughs> so i just want to give everybody a little bit of a background it's not like i'm just jumping in this without having a little bit of a knowledge of what i'm doing I may be able to use this for a little sand heat. You know, I was going to use it as a It's a really nice one. I don't have to do it four bucks. <laughs> but the switch, you know, it doesn't work anyway. So let's sacrifice it and see what we can make out of it. 